Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle, the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, and look what they have laid out for us today. This is an incredible motorcycle. Everything about this just screams custom. Look at this tank. Absolutely amazing custom paint work. Beautiful pipe, AEW, two into one. Engine guards, skin shift seat cover. Look at this tail light, the shorty fender on the back end. I love it, I love it. Time machine hand grips. Front end, check that out. Custom blinkers. Let's go take that thing for a ride. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Listen to that AEW pipe. Wahoo! That is beautiful. Music to my ears. Absolutely amazing. If you're all in the market for a new used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. They've got motorcycles, parts, accessories, gear, everything you can possibly imagine. Listen to that sound. You know what? We're going the wrong way. Let's spin around. Let's spin around. Check that out, huh? Nice tight wheelbase. 55.1 inches, that's about 1,400 millimeters. Boy, this thing sounds good. Beautiful machine, beautiful machine. They've done a bunch of custom work to this, mainly the gas tank. The fuel tank is a uh, retro paint, some sort of white with a, well, we'll look at that when we stop. It's got some real class to it, real good look. Let's do the old spin test here. I've only got one mirror. Like I said, 55.1 inch wheelbase. That is roughly 1,400 millimeters. Look at this, this thing just crawls around like no trouble at all. <laughs> Aye, what a machine. Now listen to this. Amazing, absolutely amazing. What a hot ride, what a hot ride. Woo, I love it. What a bark she has, what a bark she has. What do we got here? Beautiful. Nice. Very nice. This bike has a 648cc parallel twin, air-cooled, oil-cooled. Puts out about 47 horsepower, I believe. 39 foot-pounds of torque. What a song this thing sings. I just love it. That's about 53 newton meters, by the way. Turns on an absolute dime. Look at this. One of the best handling bikes out there. Just a beautiful machine. 320 millimeter disc on the front with a dual piston bribery. 240 millimeter on the rear with a single piston bribery. I love the way this thing cackles. What a machine, what a machine. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, let's go make some noise, huh? Let's go make some noise. Hot rod, hot rod. This thing flies. It's got that wonderful six-speed transmission. The transmission and the engine on these bikes are just, they're a symbiotic relationship. They work so good together. They're just a phenomenal thing. We are short shifting a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Weight on a bike like this in stock form, this will be lighter, is about uh, 470 pounds, about 213 kilograms. Now this has got the lighter exhaust and some other things done to it. We'll take a look at that when we get down to the motorcycle park. Seat height is 31.7 inches, I think. About 800 millimeters, 805 millimeters, something like that. Boy, the brakes work phenomenally well. Very, very nice. I really do not know why I don't own one of these. This has got to be one of my favorite motorcycles of all time to ride. Just a scream demon. Let's do the quick spin test on a hill here. 
Can y'all hear that? Holy cow, does this thing sound good. I think she's running uh, stock tires. Hey, if you're ever in Marnie, you get yourself over to the Derail Grill. Good eats, good eats. Now listen to this. How amazing, absolutely amazing. Front suspension, there's 41 millimeter forks. Travel is 4.4 inches, I think. That's about 110 millimeters. The rear has got uh, twin shocks with about three and a half inches of travel, or about 89 millimeters. I think this bike in stock form handles amazingly well. Beautiful. It's just a thing of beauty. Just a true thing of beauty. Wait till you see what they've done to this one. One of my favorite machines to ride of all time. And this pipe really has a great rumble to it. I wrote a lot of these with a lot of different pipes and it's just amazing, you know, the amount of character each pipe has in its own special way. I really do like this one. I like the fit and finish of this one. I want, when we get to the park, we'll take a good look at that. Boy, she rumbles nice. Hear that bass? Amazing. Fabulous looking, fabulous riding machine. Check that hot rod out. What fun it was to roll. That pipe really adds a lot of character to this machine. I want to start with the pipe. Baxter Cycle just got these in. Now look at this. The quality is just phenomenal on these things. And what I really like about them is you can get the engine guards on here. With the other two into one pipes that I've seen, you can't get the engine guards in. These are Royal Enfield engine guards. But just check out this quality. Now it's a hot pipe, so I can't touch it. But look at the seam. Just perfection. Everything is just fabulous, you know. Hey, you know what? I think the I think the baffle's gone. They took the baffle out. Wahoo. But uh, check that thing out. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the light glistening off of that. They have done a lot of great work on this bike. A lot of light color. So look at look at this custom tank. Beautiful RE on the side. I'm not sure what that white is called. Look at the detail here, the black on the edge. The colors down below. Very uh, 80-ish, 70-ish, something like that. I just love it. And then of course, these are my Noru gloves. It goes into this uh, skin shift seat. That's a cover I think you put over your normal seat. They've got those at back. Everything on this bike is at BaxterCycle.com, by the way. But uh, just a really well done thing there in that sense, you know. Let's get back here to the front. So check that out. Just uh, look at that whole thing. I mean, isn't that just an art bike for sure? And it really runs too. So it looks, you know, it looks great. It runs great. Starting with the front end. We've got an 18 inch front tire. Looks like a uh, 190 18 on spokes, aluminum, aluminum wheel, lighter weight, you know, just a beautiful thing there. I talked about the disc already, 320 disc, full floating, dual piston by breeze, anti-lock, 41 millimeter forks, 4.3 inches of suspension on the front. It's about 110 millimeters, three and a half on the back, three and a half inches of suspension, that's 89. Sticking to the front here. You know, we've got these boot covers on here. Just gorgeous. This little shorty fender extension's gone off of there. They put this beautiful chrome light guard on here. You know, I'm not sure if these are stock. That actually looks uh, like an add-on too. And of course, these metal blinkers. Check that out. Aren't those just gorgeous? Very well done. Very well done on their part. Jumping up here. Trip machine hand wrap. I love the retro look of the mirror. Just a beautiful thing. Coming back to this end of the bike, we already talked about the seat. We've got this nifty tail light, but, uh, and again with the uh, blinkers. You know, these are metal. This is just a really neat setup. I just love it. I just love it. They've done an excellent job. They've got light colored fenders, front and rear. They've got the light colored tank, the light colored seat. The seat is the same color as this line right through here, you know? They've got this pipe that is just a really nifty. You know, the whole thing just kind of ties itself together. You know, the hand grip tape here, just, so well done, so well done. All of this on the front, you know, including this, just air, ties everything together. Just a really nifty overall look. I hate to even ride it. I mean, it's such a good looking machine, you know. Fabulous, fabulous. I know you guys are gonna want specs, so we'll just kind of run through those right quick. 648 cc, single overhead cam, 270 degree crank. That's why it has that uh, nifty wop wop sound. Puts out about 47 horsepower, 39 foot pounds of torque. That's 53 Newton meters, has a six speed transmission. 
And uh, those of you that follow me, you know what I'm going to say. It's the best six-speed transmission out there. Wahoo! I love this combination. This engine transmission combination is just is just fabulous. We already talked about the brakes. The back brake is a 240 millimeter with a single piston vibrate on it. Aluminum rim, spoked wheel. Just a gorgeous looking thing, isn't it? I think those are stock tires. Yes, they are. Wheelbase on this hot rod, 55.1 inches. That's about 1,400 millimeters. Seat height is 31.7 inches, 805 millimeters. Fuel tank is about three and a half gallons. It's about 13 and a half liters. And the weight of this hot rod in stock form, 470 pounds or about 213 kilograms. Now this is lighter. It's got the much lighter exhaust on, you know, the two to one instead of the, uh, you know, the, the normal stock two and the two exhaust. And uh, other things that they've done might have lightened it up a bit too. So just really an excellent job. I think Baxter's just does a fabulous job with these things. They've done so many of these things and uh, every one just seems to get better than the last one. You know, they're just a beautiful machine. I was at a motorcycle event this weekend and uh, there was one of these, the blue and yellow bike that I did a video of was sitting there. And you know, it just stood out from the crowd. There's, a, there's literally a crowd of people around the motorcycle looking at it. Just a fabulous machine. And this is, you know, the same kind of thing at a different level. I don't even know uh, how to describe this thing. It's just so beautiful. Just an excellent machine. And they've got a couple more of these in the works. And we'll do a few more videos on those coming up soon. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in something like this, a newer used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself down here to Marnie, Iowa, Baxter Cycle of Marnie, Iowa. Exit uh, 51 off Interstate 80 through Iowa. And, uh, or BaxterCycle.com. Go there and check them out. Uh, give those guys a call, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now this is the part where I usually tell you it's a beautiful day and I'm going to go for a motorcycle ride. And that's kind of true, except I'm going to go ride a classic bike. Life is good. Get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!